What's up, my hopeful homies? Got another BT8 game. This time we got Mastamon versus Red Hybrid. Um, oh, <laughs> Mastamon immediately starts the match by passing, giving Red Hybrid the edge he needs. Though I kind of agree with this kind of this kind of thought process when you brick, right? So, the player in the left has nothing that he can cheaply play. So he just opts to put his opponent to three instead of hard giving him even more than that. Because if you give players more than three, then you're pushing a little too much to uh, giving them too much of an advantage. And so the when you're bricked on like, let's say all your megas, it's better to just hard or pass the turn, let your opponent give you some memory. That way you'll have a little bit of memory when you hard drop the champion or whatever mega it is in terms of your desperation play. And the Mastermind player did that very nicely. Um, gets the champion in the back, loses the Gautamon very easily, which is unfortunate, but great play by the, the uh, red hybrid player to just get rid of it. Though it does cost them a, uh, a burning Greymon in the uh, in the back to uh, create the big stack. So hopefully you can get there. The whole game plan here is Red Hybrid's gonna try to make the biggest stack possible, and Mastamon is going to try to control the board and tempo the player out enough. And then just hard to evolve into the Mastamon to just establish a mastermind on board sometimes this is like a lot of the time this is an okay play here the red hybrid player just digivolves into ultimate looking for uh that's sad see this is if he had the burning gray you want to have a couple burning your the ideal stack for red hybrid is to have a couple burning grays stacked up and then once you do that you can cap it off with an aldemon Ideally, you put a Altarius mode on top. But, uh, we'll see where it goes. No matter what, the red player is, or hyper player is going to go to three this turn, so how's the Mastermon clean it out? He's got six. He's probably going to hard drop something to uh, try to make his life, red player's life harder. Probably Flame Health Scythe. Flame Health Scythe. Yep. Kill the Burning Gray. Huh? Is that the scariest thing? Uh, I feel like it would be a little better to kill, yeah, kill off both rookies because you're not afraid of. I feel like you're not afraid of. Uh, uh, I feel like you're not afraid of what the champion's gonna do because you, you're not gonna realistically the the player on your, the red player is not gonna make another Ultimon stack on top of you. Uh, chooses to swing to security. Um, this, this is, he should have cleared board. Oh no, wait, no, Mastermon is 13k. That's unfortunate. Okay, so if he's got the other ancient, does he have it? Does he have the other? Does he have the other? No, he doesn't. That's sad. Oh man, if he had the other, if he had the other ancient Greymon, he was going for the yellow play. That's unfortunate. We had the other ancient gray that's game right there because I, I would imagine he has the Omni. So he was he was living on a prayer and a dream. But uh yeah, I mean it just comes down to like his stack's just not big enough, man. Like the red hybrid the red hybrid game plan is to just one shot you. And if they didn't do that, most decks are gonna just control you for the rest of the game. And then uh has no hybrid to play? Hello? Did we just... Okay, all right, okay, here are other effects going. Right, because you gotta wait for turn player's effects. Well, the turn player didn't have effects, but whatever. Uh, at least gets a search, at least gets a Takuya out, and then another Health Scythe. Get Anjumon out. Yeah, see now, the red player didn't, didn't win with his first stack, so the his opponent's just gonna control him for the rest of the game. And realistically, the red player won't be able to have, won't have, um, won't have anything going for him, really. He used all his resources already. Burning Gray to pop nothing, because they're both 6K. Or no, the, yeah, the Wizard Mon's 6K. 
Uh, Aldemon for one. Oh yeah, <laughs> that Aldemon's huge. And two checks. And then, what is, what's the play from here? Ugh. Is that okay? I mean, I don't know. It's sideways. You're almost better off just waiting. Like, not swing at all in that case, because now he's just going to Mastamon. Heal up the Lusamon. Yeah. DNA, heal up the Lusamon that he knows is that that's there, and then pop the Greymon. And that's it. Sad. And then I play something. Cool. Search to Kuyo. Alright, does he have the third Ancient Grey? That's what we're hoping for now. Uh, Yellow Blur. The Yelp player probably can't, he's probably gonna use that reinforced memory boost to make Yep. Make it things think things a little harder. Alright, now he now we know it's a 4k Gotamon, which makes things really safe. Oh this have it, have it. Oh my god. Have the ancient gray. Have the ancient gray. Yes. Two checks. Gyre Blitz for game. Yeah, the classic. But I think my point still, I mean, Red Player was able to squeak it out, I would think, but I think, I think what I said is still an agreeable, uh, an, an agreeable deduction or an analysis of how the matchups kind of tend to go for Red Hybrid. Um, if, if they don't one-shot you, then they have a hard time trying to, like, get the pieces back in order, but luckily, I mean, luckily, he got the... He was able to get the third Agunimon promo and the third Greymon, and it, things just kind of lined up for him, is the best way I can say. Um, ideally, the Mastamon player, instead of Flame Hunt Scything, he could have just Chaos Degraded a few times, just to like remove town, especially on that first deck where he was able to get a Takuya and a body on board from through deletion effects. So if like you, if the Mastamon player was able to circumvent those deletion effects, uh. I don't think the red player comes back after that. Uh oh, what just happened? Did they... I guess they didn't cut each other's deck, so they're just kinda... Just double checking. It's always good to make sure with those kind of things. And, uh, so, uh... Does he have four cards in him? Am I crazy? No, I'm just gonna assume he's got five, but that looked like four. And then a purple memory boost to bring out a mess and uh, put his opponent to three. You have to go first. That's interesting. All right, big boy stack. Oh, okay. Pick up the Takuya every time and then pick up a burning grid. He didn't pick up a burning. Oh, that's gonna, mm. no, mm. I don't agree with that. The burning gray would have been such a free, free ride up. Cause then he could have, uh, I mean, those were, he revealed three burning grays, which is just really sad. Um. Yeah, you can only pick up one. You can only pick up one, so. It's just not like Pokemon where you get to pick up the Tamer and the, uh, and the hybrid at the same time. But see, now his plays are just kind of like weird. Like if he had just been able, if he, if he had, you want to draw, if, <laughs> you want to draw into the, the Burning Grays and just Digivolve into an, for a big stack, and if you do that, like Red Hybrid is unstoppable. All right, now he's—I think he's just gonna. What? Okay, he's fine. And for two checks, three checks, three checks, but it's dead. Oh, god damn it! Well, he gets the deletion. Oh, gets the both effects. Okay, and then he picks up Blitz Omni or Bl Kaiser, Kaiser, Kaiser Man, Kaiser Greymon. I think it's Emperor Greymon in English. I still think he's just still giving his opponent a little too much resources. Because ideally, with with the line of logic of just building a giant stack in the back, um, and 
and just one-shotting your opponent, you, you essentially give your opponent nothing. They have to work with only the things that they have either discarded or they have set up themselves. You're giving your opponent no setups. Like in the first game, it was the red player that gave the player on the left the loose amount to heal and clear his board, right? So if you if he had just one-shotted him in that turn instead, then you would see that uh, the loose amount that you gave your opponent never came into play because you didn't give him a chance to use it. So now, kind of going for these little swings constantly, it just kind of works against you in this deck. And it looks like it just doesn't have all the mod. So, no, man, just Digivolve Burning Green in the back for one. And he's gonna go for the two check play. Oh, and he's gonna swing into the, to the. Okay. I mean, I mean, you're not really scared of that. I feel like you're not really scared of that Mastermon, right? And all you're, yeah, all you're doing is uh, giving your opponent slightly more to work with because the mess, all the not the Mastermon, the Ophanimon, All she was doing was she was just gonna keep swinging, and. That's, I think you're okay with that at four life. So clearing bodies just for the sake of clearing bodies or kind of against the deck that kind of wants to trigger effects like that. I don't know. Gets two off the Lady Devi. Huh. I wasn't sure you could do that, but I guess you can. We're just gonna say you can, but I'm questioning it. I thought it was a one. She's busted, I don't know. The Mastermon deck's good for a reason, so we're gonna assume you're able to pick up an angel and a fallen angel, not just one. And then, yep, Mastermon, get the Lucimon, kill Tamer, kill Aldemon. Kill Tamer. Uh, did we not kill Tamer? That's unfortunate. Wait, is he gonna realize? Please realize. Realize that the tamer should be dead. <sighs> tamer lives. And see, this is all off of the back of letting his opponent use the on deletion effect of a founding mon by bringing back the gato, searching more. Wait, did he just swing with the? All right, there's some, there's some, there's some Campbell soup all over this few, this past three minutes. Not only did we get a misplay of not killing the tamer, we swung with a Lucimon that wasn't allowed to swing, but yeah, it's locals. Like, I'm not gonna crucify anyone, but it does make it look bad on video. And now, yeah, he's gonna do the he's gonna swing for three checks. And yeah, flame sail scythe, minus six K. Okay, so bring something back. Which we're fine. Oh no! And uh, yeah, that's it. And I feel like this is this this match was literally one off of the back of not just not building a big stack, like I've been preaching for the past ten minutes now, and swinging into an Afanimon for no reason. Because and the reason it's it's if anything, it, it did him more harm to kill that Afanimon than it helped him. Right, because all it did was give the Mastermon player another Godamon, which gave him another level, easy level five to play, which then you get where I'm going. Which then he was able to get the other level five on board, and then DNA, and then clear board, which was a misplay because he didn't kill the Tamer, and then swung with a Lucifer that wasn't allowed to swing. But you get my point. Or maybe I'm full. Of, maybe I'm full of it. Maybe the mess. We're gonna. Maybe maybe I missed a turn somewhere, and Lucifer could swing, but. I don't think so. <laughs> I could be wrong. I mean, I don't know. It's it's hard to like talk about the things I want to talk about and still uh you know, track everything on the board as it's happening. Which is fine. I don't know. I don't need to be perfect. I'm not making money off of these. I'm doing them for fun and so people can watch their plays and learn and give people content and I don't know. Gives me an outlet to talk. I feel like I have a lot to say and not enough people to say it to. And then, see? Oh. Well, so this, this, imagine if the, the, the red player 
went first and then passed and then got passed to see and then hard play a champion and he's fine and then all right uh yeah burning gray for the cycle probably drew the boko off the burning gray and then gato oh burning gray that gato away don't give your don't give your opponent nothing tell me you drew another burning gray tell me pop it kill it Kill that, don't let the gato live. You let the gato live, you lose this game. Okay. We're swinging. He's huge. Yeah, no, he's not dead. Uh, it's just gonna hope. I'm gonna have faith in my brother to uh, have not had the burning gray. Because if he did, I'm upset. <laughs> Because no world should you have allowed that that got him on to live. And maybe just swing a Bogo. You should have just swung a Bogo. Like, wait, no. I think he just played that. No, he didn't. No, he didn't just play that Bogo. So, yeah, he should have just swung a Bogo. There's no... In this game, when you, when the when this when the when people when you get free swings with your rookies, you need to take them in this format because if you don't, they're not gonna die. They're gonna die for free somehow. Like he can just player on the left can just now hard play a level six heal one and clean up a boko for free. Like, you're just giving your when when that boko could have just died in a check instead, which at least you're getting a check. <sighs> Here's hoping. My biases always show through these kind of matchups because I'm not a fan of the Nasty Mon deck. But his opponent to one, that's not bad. And then he knocks off the memory boost. And see, all right, swing with the Boko. Please swing with the Boko. Don't just swing with the Boko. That, yeah. Fuck. Now, see, if he just swung with the, and he shouldn't have raised. All right, so my, my, my mental mat, my mental head, my heart of hearts tells me that Kingdom Hearts is still light and he should have swung the Boko last turn. It would have died to the Flame Health Scythe. And I mean, you have to get through the, because you didn't go for the big stack, you have to get through all the security checks anyway. So the Flame Health Scythe was going to happen one way or the other. So instead, the, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to assume that I was right. And then he's going to Digivolve for one. And then he's going to, oh, is he going to do the, no, he can't do the, Level four craziness. That like long extended combo is always cool to me. But yeah, he should have not. My player on the right should not have drew or raised there. Um, Digivolve in the back. Just, just Digivolve champion. Just Digi Digivolve champion. And Digivolve ultimate. Ugh, all that's unfortunate. It's the expense of champion. See, we're gonna assume he drew into it because oh, I wish I could see hands. And there's just nothing to play Boko. Okay, it's the ancient Greymon and a Tamer. Is that what he, that's what he did. Maybe he should. Ah, man. Maybe he should have played the Boko first if he had it, but I'm like. I'm gonna guess he drew into it. Cause that's the only thing that makes sense. Let's Greymon. Lady's dead. I'm guessing he just doesn't have Mastermonds? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna guess he doesn't have Mastermonds. And then Jogress. Heal one. Summon one. Uh, yeah, definitely play that guy. Yep. Put his opponent to one. This Kairi. It's a good card. And yeah, that's it. Red player's got nothing. Only thing I'd say the red player now is the Crimson Blaze and Security are in hand. If he has those cards, then. Then he's in a good spot, but he's not going to have it. So I don't think so. 
Really should put him in. Did you vote for three? Pass his turn. Oh, yeah, they are. And yeah, really makes the misplay of. To be fair, the, the left player should have corrected the memory on the board. Um, but yeah. I think I think I think uh, the red hybrid player didn't have much to begin with, so that's just how it goes. Not bad. I, I still feel like he wasn't playing around the main game plan of red hybrid, which caused him to to lose. But oh well, you live and learn. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody.